Hello fellow Christian fiction book lovers. It's another video. I just need to film this like kind of quickly and I didn't want to go upstairs and set up my whole like studio so we're in here in my office which also doubles as my living room <laughs> but I thought it could be fun to, sorry, I'm sitting next to my desk and my leg kept hitting it, but I thought it would be fun to do a video where I talk about all the books I read this summer because it is August 31st and to me basically September 1st means it's fall. I am wearing a sweater because it's cozy weather here where I live and yeah. So I'm just going to be talking briefly about all the books I read in June, July, and August. Some of them you've heard about, some of them you have no idea I picked up. <laughs> so let's just get into it. Because I do not have that good of a memory, I will be referencing my Goodreads. I use Goodreads and Storygraph to document like what books I read. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a whole video on how I keep track of all my books, but those are just my two right now that I use. Anyway, let's get into it, Goodreads. So on July 1st, I read Mara, Daughter of the Nile, which I'd heard a little bit about that book, not much, like I didn't really know what it was about, but I really liked it. I gave it four stars, I read it in two days. In June, I basically read like one book every two days. I was just reading things really fast in June for some reason. I got 10 books in that month, which is not normal for me. But yeah, I really liked Mara, Daughter of the Nile. It was short and simple and just kind of sweet. I wouldn't say like I recommend it. I picked it up at a thrift store for like a dollar and it was just a fun read, very different than what I normally read. After that, I read American Music by Jane Mendelssohn, and I gave this book five stars because it rocked my soul. I read this book in one day. Yes, I started this on June 2nd and finished it on June 2nd. No joke, I literally stayed up until almost midnight to finish it because it rocked my like entire soul and heart and the storylines that wove together. It was basically, it followed three generations of romances and just real life stories of confusion and conflict and it is not a Christian book, but I loved it. I loved it with my whole heart and soul and I really want to take some time to reread it and just take it piece by piece instead of just in a 24 hour time period. But yeah, that book, whew, it was a lot. <laughs> okay, then after that I read The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks and I really did not like that book at all. I gave it two stars and that is all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> After that, I read The Face by Angela Hunt. This is another book I picked up at a thrift store and I didn't have many expectations. I read some biblical fiction by Angela Hunt and I did enjoy it. And this book was five stars for me. I loved it and it really made me think. So it's basically about this girl whose parents worked for the CIA, I believe, and they were killed right after her birth and she is basically raised by the CIA but she has some face deformities, so she's kind of like closed off from the rest of the world. And when she's 21, her aunt learns about her and goes to kind of like convince her to leave. That is putting it super simply, but I just really, really liked how you kind of learned about humanity through this main character, Sarah, learning about like what what a smile means and stuff because she's been closed off from the world for forever she doesn't know these things like she doesn't know how to express express emotions or what others others faces mean and i just really liked learning uh, more about humans and emotions through this book <laughs> okay after that i read shadow of the storm and wings of the wind by connell and Cazette. both are th they are the second two out from egypt books both of these were five stars for me and I have a whole video on that series that I will link. After that, I read On Love's Gentle Shore. This was the third book in the Prince Edward Island Dreams series by Liz Johnson. This book was five stars for me. I quite enjoyed it. 
I just love the simple yet not simple romances that Liz Johnson writes and how they're so real and they have happy endings but they also have like realistic endings where it's not just like happily ever after walking into the sunset on a beach like all happy and gushy. It's not like that at all and I really do appreciate that because technically these are like contemporary adult romances uh, and they all are Christian romances which I really like. Okay after that I read Miriam's Song by Jill Eileen Smith. This book was three stars for me and I have a whole video on why I did not like it very much which will be linked. After that, I read Born of Persuasion, Mark of Distinction, and Price of Privilege by Jessica Dada. All three are the Price of Privilege trilogy, and I absolutely love those books. The first and third ones were five stars for me, and the second one was four stars. Just really high in my <laughs> uh, appreciation of books I read this summer. It was, I believe, the only series I read. Yeah, it was the only series I read this summer except for Out from Egypt, the last two books. Uh, but I got to read all these back to back and it just felt like one marathon, like series read. And oh, I loved it so, so much. It was so good. I read the first two books in like three days each and then the third one took me a week but I was also on vacation in California. So I had other things going on, but oh, I just love this series. Have a whole video on that one too. Okay, the final book I read in June was Dreams of Savannah by Rosanna M. White. And this book was just one of the sweetest romances I have ever read. It was so cute, but it also was like really good character development for Finn, the male main character. I just loved his character development so much and it was not what I expected from that book at all. Uh, Delia, the female main character, she definitely like progressed within the book and learned how to like kind of face reality. She has a very active imagination, which spoke to me because I am constantly creating stories in my mind and that's kind of her. We open with her just imagining this romantic scene and uh, we do close with like the conclusion is very sweet and romantic and happily ever after but it all fits within the story and I really liked it. So I definitely want to read more by Rosanna M. White. I know she has some World War stuff. Okay, after that I read Newton and Polly, a novel of Amazing Grace by Jodi Headland. And I've read a couple of Jodi Headland books now and this one was not my favorite. I gave it three stars just because I felt like the character development was extremely rushed and the plot was very lacking. Okay, after that I read Under the Magnolias by T.I. Lowe and we all know that I am absolutely in love and obsessed with that book, so enough said, we'll link my reviews on it. Then I read Nightbird Calling by Kathy Gulke, also obsessed with this book. It just was so heartwarming, even though the story was so tragic. <laughs> a lot of stuff happened in this book and it felt a lot longer than it was but I loved every minute of reading this book, so highly recommend it. It was great, and I want to read some other stuff by Kathy Golke because I was just blown away by this book. It was so good. <laughs> so next I read Jewel of the Nile by Tessa Afshar. This is her most recent release, I believe, and Tessa Afshar has been recommended to me by, by like everybody. I think half of my recommendations in the comments of these videos are like, read Te Tessa Afshar. So I finally did, and I really liked it. It was a very realistic biblical romance, but it was also so cute and just adorable. Like, I loved the romance, and the characters also like had their own separate plots outside of the romance, which just A+. plus. So I gave that one four stars. It didn't quite have like it wasn't like life-changing <laughs> I saved five stars for like life-changing <laughs> but I would give it like four and a half after that I read The White Rose Resists by Amanda Barrett and I love this book it's based off of a true story the characters were so brave and so dedicated to their cause it is a World War II novel oh my gosh just so, so good. I, I know Amanda Barrett has one or two other books set in World War II and I definitely want to read them now because I just 
Loved her writing style. It was so fast paced. Not like super fast paced, but fast paced enough where I like I just kept picking it up. I actually had to take breaks because it got very heavy very quick. <laughs> and then I read Letters Across the Sea by Genevieve Graham. I read this book in basically two days. I didn't mark it until the third day. I just spent a couple hours one day reading this book and it was so beautiful. It just really touched me and I really, really liked that book. So yeah, I, I highly recommend that one. The next one I also highly, highly recommend. I just highly recommend this author, any of her books. The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton was five stars for me. I read this on a very long plane ride back home and oh my gosh, it was so, so good. I read The House at Riverton by Kate Morton about a year ago and fell in love with it. And then I found The Forgotten Garden at a thrift store and I was like, well, it's Kate Morton. I'm going to buy it because I really loved her other book and it was not a mistake. So genuinely really enjoyed that. And then the final book I read this summer was Between the Wild Branches by Conlon Cazette. It was the second book in the Covenant House duology and uh, last week's video was all about my thoughts on the Covenant House duology so I'll just link it instead of taking more time in this video but it was five stars for me. Basically Every Connell and Cosette book is five stars for me. So that's it. That is all the books I read this summer. I didn't count how many that was. How many was that? 20 books. That's really good. I was not expecting to read that many. So like 10 in June, four in July, and five in August, four or five in August, something like that. So wow, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really curious to see what books you read this summer, so drop them in the comments. Um, but if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you Friday for whatever video that is. Until then, bye.